So if you've been following along with me either over on social media or here on YouTube, you probably know that I recently moved over to the Panasonic Lumix S5 as my main workhorse for both photo and video production. As part of that, I've been building out my system with new lenses and other gear just to make it a little more robust and usable in the field. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my recent addition, which is the small rig black mamba cage for the Panasonic S5. One of my biggest fears with purchasing a cage is whether or not it's going to get in the way of some of the things that I need access to during a job. I found that that has not been the case with this cage though. I've been able to adjust the aperture, the ISO, the white balance, I've been able to access the battery, as well as plug in microphones, the HDMI cable. And the only thing that I've noticed is that sometimes it's a little difficult to turn one of the knobs at the top of the camera, the one that controls whether or not you're in a timer mode or in continuous shooting or single shooting. And it's okay for me because I actually don't really ever use that, but it does get in the way on occasion. The best thing about this cage is its shape. It winds around the camera in ways that allow you to get access to all the buttons and switches easily without getting in the way or without being cumbersome. I've actually found that I leave the cage on the camera all the time because it just gets out of the way and it actually offers a lot of flexibility. It gives a little bit more weight. It makes the camera just feel so good. That's not to say that everything about this cage is perfect because I definitely have a few things that kind of drive me crazy. One of those in particular is just where you actually mount the HDMI and USB-C holder, like the little cable holder. The one that they offer through small rig that's, uh, that's mentioned on B&H is actually just a little awkward to put on there. It's got this great thumb screw, but I found that that thumb screw actually gets in the way of the screen rotating on the back of the camera. I didn't actually realize this until I was on a shoot one day and went to flip the screen around after putting the cage all together on the camera and realized that I couldn't actually spin the monitor or the screen around to actually get access to it, which at the time I was doing some video of some skateboarders and I really wanted to have autofocus and I wanted it locked on to some of the skaters to follow them around the area. The autofocus worked great, but getting access to the screen to be able to tap on them was just a nightmare at that point. In order to flip the screen around, I had to pull the HDMI cable holder back off, flip the screen around and then remount it again, which just, it was just a big time suck that didn't need to happen. Ultimately, this camera cage has been fantastic. It's gotta be one of my favorite camera cages that I've ever bought for any of my cameras. And like I said before, this thing pretty much stays glued to my camera 24 seven. I've actually not removed it since I bought it two weeks ago, even though I've done some photo and video shoots that I didn't necessarily need the cage. It just fits so well and it offers a great robust feeling without getting in the way or feeling too heavy. I can't recommend it anymore. It's just a fantastic option. If you're interested in following along with some of the photos or the videos that I'm making from the day to day, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and even on Glass at Sean P. Bruce. You can also check out some of my recent work and sign up for my newsletter on my website, seanpbruce.com. Thanks so much for watching.